Welcome back. Just before the break, Pei Chen took our taste buds on a trip via cookbooks. Now, Chef Trevor Louie is going to continue the food journey in The Daily Dish. We're headed to Barcelona to make Spanish croquetas. Trevor, you went to Barcelona and got to meet Spanish culinary royalty. What is this all about? Give me the scoop. Well, Tracy, uh, very fortunate that I was invited a couple years back to go to Barcelona to spend some time with uh, Michelin star chefs Albert and Ferran Adria, the brothers behind El Bui, and the whole little village in downtown Barcelona called El Bari, which is a group of restaurants that they own. And, you know, um, just amazing wonders to be able to inspire and work with them to learn more about food and how we can, you know, uh, transfer some of the skills that they know to some of the food that I get to cook back home here in Canada. I think that's amazing. Uh, like I've said before, you can learn so much about a culture through food. So you're going to make croquetas. Can you tell us what that is? Absolutely. Uh, well, well, Tracy, you know, the one thing that I learned from Fran and Albert is, uh, you know, one of their Mission Star restaurants tickets is all about tapas and uh, a very common dish in Spanish tapas, which is small dishes. Um, is a croqueta, which is generally made with rice, potato, filled with uh, ham and a creamy cheese. So what I did is I wanted to do a version that was a little more Asian inspired. So I, I took out some ingredients and added some other ones. And the one thing that I learned from both of them is that tapas is not just a Spanish phenomenon. Small dish eating is a global phenomenon, particularly in Chinese culture, right? So from a dim sum perspective, we have small dishes as well. So this was a really good inspiration to take a little bit from both worlds and put it all together. So I don't know, are you a fan of tapas, Tracy? I was after I went to Barcelona. <laughs> we did all the way, we did Barcelona, <laughs> we did Altea, we ended up in Malaga skipped over to Morocco for a bit, came back. I mean, yes, I am an absolute fan of tapas now. Yeah, and that's the beautiful thing about Spain, depending on the region you are. In Barcelona, it's Catalonian, and then obviously the north is very different. And then when I traveled to the south, to a little town called Solombreña, that's where, you know, there was so much Moorish influence from Northern African when they were uh, occupied some of Southern Spain as well. So there's so much influence that you can see from other countries just in one region of a country. But I want to get into this really fun dish because it's so much fun to do. You know, uh, a lot of stuff that you can do, you can do at home. This is great for the kids. You want to get some russet potatoes, three of them, and you want to cube them up and basically cut them up and boil them like you're making mashed potatoes. And I've already done that ahead of time. So I've already uh, softened these up and I've mashed them with the fork. And essentially, it's the same process of making mashed potatoes that we get to forming a croquetta. So I've got some melted butter here. So we're gonna throw some of the melted butter in here. Get a spoon to help me out, right? And then a little bit of milk. I've got some red onion that I have diced small into it. So we'll add some red onions into there. And then instead of using a ham or a chorizo, I use Chinese sausage, what we call lap churn, which is a fatty sausage you can find in most grocery stores, even some mainstream grocery stores you can find as well. Throw those in there like that. A Little bit of salt and pepper. Not too much because the sausage already has a little bit of salt and pepper in there. And basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna mix this all up. And then we're gonna start forming little croquetas. So I'm gonna get into this with my hands. And I like to make them a little smaller because it's a great little party dish that you can do. Now, I've made them into little, like we call them little torpedoes, right? So that's that. I'm gonna do a couple of them. While this is doing, we've got a little bit of hot oil on the burner. I've got some uh, neutral canola oil because it's a nice flavor. Doesn't, doesn't burn too hot. Perfect, I've got that. Now we're gonna create our dredging station. Now rather than using rice, um, I kicked it up and did a little Asian influence. I've got panko crust, and then I've got some egg wash. You wanna get your station all ready to go. We're gonna put it into our egg wash, and then we're gonna transfer that into our panko, so that nice panko crust sticks to it like that. Right, nicely covered, and then we get our other one. We put that right there, all that panko crust ready to go. And then with your hot oil, we're gonna transfer over here. And we're just gonna drop this into our hot oil real quick. You can hear that sizzling ready to go. Those don't take too long, okay? While we're doing that, I wanna get into the sauce really quick. Now, you can get this at the store if you want roasted red pepper, but I thought all you gotta do is get a red pepper, cut it small, 
brush a little olive oil, put it in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes until they get nice and soft and nice and shimmery. You pull them out, you add a little bit of olive oil into a processor and you blitz it. And so I've got some of that already done here, some olive oil and blitzed red pepper. We're gonna add a little bit of chili oil, a little bit of mayonnaise, and now we've got a nice, basically, aioli dipping sauce that will serve up with the plate of croquetas, which are sizzling, and they're almost there. We're gonna just turn them over real quick here in the fryer. Oh, look at the sizzle on that. I am a fan of anything fried, and the croquetas really remind me of arancini. Uh, so delicious. Now, through the magic of television, I've got a few done already, but I'm gonna also take out the ones we've got frying in here. They're almost done. And this is a perfect party snack. It's a great appetizer. It's a great if you wanna have tapas party at home, right? And then I've got the dipping sauce. Now, I wanted to add just a little touch from a different place that I travel to. For my stag, before I got married, I went with a bunch of my friends to Iceland and I brought back some lava salt from those you know, lava mills, you know, we did go to Blue Lagoon, so we, uh, not only did I get to soak in the water, but I got to bring some of the lava salt back. So it calls for smoked salt, but today I want to just add a little bit of this black lava salt. A little bit of that, and then some chopped up parsley on top, and there you go. So easy to make your own croquettas at home. Uh, a little bit of an Asian spin, I used panko crust and some Chinese sausage, and we made our own roasted red pepper.